Well, hey, it's Pastor Seth again here with you, and I want to share with you the last little sentence of the New City Catechism. The New City Catechism is this, this way of teaching the fundamental truths of the faith to people who, who don't know them. Built originally for children, but it's just great for adults as well. It's based on creeds from the Reformation, like hundreds of years ago that were written down, which were based on based on understanding and knowledge of the Bible that goes back into, into the earliest times of the church. And the second question of the New City Catechism is this, what is God? And it starts out, the answer starts out, says, he, God is the creator and sustainer of everyone and everything. And then yesterday I, I talked about, it. it says he is eternal, infinite, and unchangeable in his power and perfection, goodness and glory, wisdom, justice, and truth. But today, and this is, this is just beautiful, friend. This is what I want us to meditate on. This comes directly out of the scripture, out of the Bible. The catechism, it, it often employs biblical language. It's pointing to biblical truth. Just sometimes it, it distills, it puts it in a distinct way pithy kind of way, but, but this is what it says. Nothing happens except through him and by his will. Nothing happens except through him and by his will. See, this is based on, on what I talked about yesterday, that if, if he's this eternal, infinite, unchangeable God, Then this follows. Nothing happens except through him and by his will. He knows everything. Sometimes he allows things to come into our life. We, we often will ask the question, why? And honestly, a lot of times we don't, we don't get the answer of why. But we know that everything that we experience in our life comes ultimately through his, his hands. doesn't mean he... He causes it sometimes. He just allows things to happen. But, but we can take comfort in that. And, and Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. This is, again, it's based on Scripture. Isaiah 46, 9 and 10 says, Remember the former things of old. And then he says, this is God speaking. For I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Listen to this. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will accomplish all my purpose. Over in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, we read a beautiful verse that we often go back to. Just time and time that, that God works all things, all circumstances in our lives for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Nothing happens except through him and by his will. It means that, that whatever's going on in our life, whether it's COVID, whether it's some other circumstance, ultimately he is sovereign, he's in control. And if, if you are his, he is working it out for your good and for his glory ultimately. And that's something to rest in and take comfort in. So friend, hold on to that. Nothing happens except through him and by his will. God says, I am God, there's none other. There's no one like me declaring the end from the beginning. And my purposes shall stand. 